Hello and welcome back. <clears throat> Today I am sitting in my dog's brand new bed. I decided to buy them some dog beds because Miharu likes to sleep on the floor and there's tiles in this house and it's too cold on the floor for him to be sleeping on it at night. So he doesn't quite know how to use it yet. So I'm hoping that the more I sit in it and the more that I get my scent in it, he might sleep in it as well. Here's hoping. So anyway, today is a very special video because we are celebrating 400 subscribers and that is just, I can't, I can't even, I can't even you guys, that is so amazing. Like the, all the support that you guys have shown this channel and I look forward every day to reading your comments. I just recently discovered that I don't get notified whenever someone leaves a comment or replies to me or something like that. So now I'm going to start getting better about replying to every one of your comments because I thought that's what I was doing before, but I realized that wasn't at all what I was doing and I just wasn't getting notifications. Okay, I had the plan going into this that this was going to be a chill and relax video, kind of like my last celebration video where we can just kind of maybe draw together and have some chats and doodles at the same time. So I think last time I decorated my ELO sketchbook cover and this time I would like to decorate this. And so you might have seen this in the last couple videos. This is my pencil case and depending on when this video comes out you might see this blank for a few more. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet which is why I have this out because I'm going to turn to a fresh new page and I've counted, I want to keep all of my Inktober drawings together and I don't want a random drawing to like separate them. So I numbered all of my pages moving forward so that I know when Inktober ends and Inktober ends here and I'm thinking I might do a whole sheet illustration instead of like the little ones I've been doing so I'm not so sure we'll see but that's not what today is about. Today is about decorating this because I've been honestly I've had this for a really long time and if you couldn't tell it is a glasses case, I guess a sunglass case or something like that, but um, I got it at the uh, used store in the US and I, um, at the time, I was like completely into uh, Steam Powered Giraffe and The Cog is Dead and a whole bunch of like other steampunk bands and groups. So not that I'm not into them into anymore, <laughs> I still listen to The Cog is Dead. I bought this because I wanted to turn it into a steampunk carrier case and it was that because it had like cogs and um, gold rub and buff on it, but that's all since faded over the years and now I just store um, pencil supplies in it and it's uh, made in China. I'm not going to do anything on the inside because the inside is all felt. I am going to try to sketch out some ideas on what to do on it just because it's a kind of a weird shape and it, it has like the clasp right there in the middle. I'm not sure what I want to do. One thought was that I would do this pink and I'm thinking of doing a black, white, and pink theme where I can do... I'm not sure. <laughs> so I was testing out materials on this to see what I can use. And it seems like I'm going to have to unbury the supplies that I was intended to use. So I'm going to bring out the Artuli paint pens. And the plan was to use pink, white, and I'm also going to use the white Posca. And I might use black for outlining. And then for sketching, I'm going to use a Stabilo fine liner, just because it doesn't actually... It's not permanent on this material, whatever this material is. This material is very similar to the ELO sketchbook, although the ELO is much softer. So I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's similar. So a thought was I could draw like little bossies all over the place and I thought that that would be really cute. And then I could do pink here, pink here, make the buckle pink. And then he would be like outlined in black but colored in in pink. So let's see. Maybe I can do some little that would be the train. I have the window open again. So there's bound to be noises and the train has decided to pass right now. I haven't drawn all day and I haven't done my Inktober drawing yet. So this will be my first illustration for the day. <laughs> Sorry for this attractive setup as well. I just, um, I'm still trying to explore ways that I can record like properly. So we'll, uh, until I can actually get a desk in a permanent bedroom. So we'll see how all that goes. So if I drew bossy everywhere, right, I feel like I really don't want to just do the same thing as my ELO sketchbook because then it'd be like pencil case and then he'd be over here and that's kind of weird. And then there won't be anything on the backside and I kind of want it to be all around. I want to do one of those prints where like you like 
cover the whole thing like like I did with my phone case where it's like you just have all of this craziness going on but it's like all things that represent you and who you are so I, I thought I could do like I don't know I don't know what I'm thinking I don't know what I'm doing I've been pretty obsessed with these Japanese wind chimes lately that go like this and there's a reason for that so I've mentioned before that I've been working on a a project like in spare time aside from the chopping block and it's uh I think it's going pretty well it's just it, it needs a lot of bells for the, the thing that I'm doing in it so I've been practicing drawing bells a lot and unfortunately this is not something that is in the story this like Japanese chime but I really enjoy it so I might I'm not sure if I want to change it to make it fit in the story or just do the bells that I originally thought of, which is kind of like jingle bells like this. I'm not sure how I feel about that because I think these look more interesting. So anyway, I could do like little chimes like that on here with pictures of Bossy and then I can just do his signature like stars and stripes. Maybe what I should start off with is doing the, the solid pink where I know I want the solid pink to be. Miharu, come here buddy, come. Come sit with me in your dog bed. I'm trying to convince my dog to come over here and he doesn't want to. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, did you know this is your bed too? So you can sleep here whenever you want. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm actually going to do a test. I asked before when I was decorating the cover of the ELO sketchbook if you guys thought that gouache would work on it. And a couple of you had mentioned that Rin from Drawing with Waffles had decorated her elo one of her elo sketchbooks with gouache i think i want to try it on this so i have to dig out my gouache i like that pink so much better okay it looks like it's definitely going to need a couple coats though so i think we'll let that dry but i think i like that a lot better than how this is looking so let me try painting on top of this. So I know I've been asking your guys' opinions a lot lately because there's some other stuff that I, I want to talk to you guys about when it comes to this channel and the changes that YouTube will be facing in the next coming year once 2020 hits and stuff like that that may or may not be impactful to this channel and to channels like me. And as a new content creator it's kind of it's kind of a scary change and I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm not sure if it's even going to impact me or not, but I do want to come up with fallback plans in case it does. So I'm going to set this aside and let it to dry, and then we will start doing some... Let's do some concept doodles. Oh my gosh, no! When did... Ah, I made it worse! When did I do this? That's fantastic. And my paintbrush is pink, so that's cool. Let's try to... Work out some doodles. Okay, so that's quite a few bossies. <laughs> I think I like the mixture of them. I really like this style, but I don't, there's certain ones that I just don't like at all. Because I'm an impatient person, I'm going to attempt to sketch on this, so let's figure this out. I would like to do this one first. Maybe we can start that over here. Now this part you probably won't see at all. Okay, I think I might try to paint that in and hope for the best. So let's, I don't know what to start with. Maybe a black outline. So 
I mentioned earlier that I wanted to talk about the changes that YouTube is going through and what I mean by that is I don't really I don't want to go over the changes that YouTube is facing like I'm sure you've seen it all over the place and if you guys are nerdy grains of salt like me <laughs> then Jackie has more than covered what is happening with YouTube and the concerns that content creators are having with the next with the upcoming year so if you guys don't know what's going on I'll leave a link to her video just because she describes it so much better than I ever could it's not so much the threat of demonetization or not like so essentially not making profit off of videos because I don't make profit off of my videos anyway so I don't really feel I won't feel the loss for that what I'm worried about is losing contact with you guys and that is my only concern and I really don't want that to happen. Being able to interact with you guys is the best part of creating videos and creating content because I like your feedback and I like hearing about you guys and hearing about how your day has been, what trips you're going on, what new art supplies you're doing, how Inktober is treating you so far. And you know, I like hearing about your pets and all the fun stuff that you guys decide to share with me. And it, I don't want to lose this community that we're building. That long-winded explanation was leading to solutions that we can take if my channel is hit. It'll really stink if I can't communicate with you guys, so thinking about maybe finding other communication options. I noticed Ace of Clay is doing Facebook to keep in contact with his community, and that's um, for different reasons, I believe. I don't think it has anything to do with the changes. So I'm not sure if a Facebook community would be a solution. I'm not really a fan of Facebook, but if it's something that we can do, I will definitely do that. And if it's maybe I could do a, a Discord, we could set up a Discord. So I'm on Instagram, but I know a lot of you are not on Instagram. I want to find something that works for everybody, you know? And once again, getting to the main point of why I'm mentioning this, I want to start exploring the possibilities of Twitch. As far as I'm aware, you don't need a account on Twitch in order to watch Twitch creators, uh, streamers, to watch streamers. And I thought it would be really cool to get into that. It is something actually that I've been considering seriously to a point where I have been researching some good webcams and things of the like. So I think streaming on Twitch would be a lot of fun and then I can interact with you guys in real time if we found a way to figure out stream times and hours that work best for everybody. I don't know. <laughs> Give me your opinions on Twitch. Do you think it would be fun to do more more streaming videos? Like I said, it doesn't mean that there won't be YouTube videos, but I think I would just do streaming videos more often and then the stream the footage that I capture from the stream would be edited into a YouTube video is what I'm thinking. Um, yeah. Let me try adding the pink now. So, I would love to know what you thought about the whole streaming idea. Because it's- my reason is because I'm doing the same thing anyway. So it would be me sitting down and arting and you guys hanging out with me just in real time, you know? And then we can all talk in real time. Because the process of recording an art video is pretty much the same as just doing it live. It's just that you'll see all of my mistakes and stupid comments <laughs> instead of me editing, editing, editing them out like that. I will not edit out that because that is exactly what you would encounter during a stream with me <laughs> and maybe that could be fun it would most certainly be different i ask for your guys' opinion a lot and that's just because i value it so much so give me your thoughts on potential twitch streaming okay let's try to do this ghostly bossy and i think it would be cute to have like the ghost up there so you would have his head here oh i don't have room for the ghosty hang on and put him underneath so we'll put his head here and then his ghosty comes out like that. Another thing I kind of wanted to talk about was the the mention of how I was going to upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays from here on out. And that has already backfired <laughs> and the plan has is already not working. I don't think I'm in a position where I can do that 
currently as I thought that I would be able to. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that now. So the new plan to the new plan is I will upload every Tuesdays as originally planned and Thursdays will be bonus videos. So it'll be like if I have the time to upload another video then I will. And then if um, going over onto Twitch I would stream I think on Thursdays and then YouTube uploads will continue to be on Tuesdays. Because if I stream on Thursdays and then I plan to use the footage for Tuesday's uploads. I'll have the whole week to edit it. Well, not the whole week, but I'll have like the whole weekend to edit it. I forgot that was still drying. <laughs> I have to do another coat on that. I really don't like how that looked out. How that looked out. How that turned out. So I let that dry and it looks like it's about to thunderstorm. So the lighting might have changed in here. But anyway, let's try to add in the pink. Oh, I guess I should, should I put his muzzle back in first? I guess I should put his muzzle back in first. <laughs> that looks weird. Oh, you'll notice I had to scrape off the metal piece. I'm planning on making something, I think maybe with a shrinky dink and gluing it on there. Should the ghost have markings too? So let's try it. <laughs> I definitely want it to have markings, that is so cute. Let's add more stars. What do you think so far? It's coming along, I think. Now, I think I want to do a, another chime. Something I didn't consider is how am I going to draw over here without touching anything else? And it comes up like this. Should it be like... <gasps> maybe it should be like a cow chime. That. Ah! Oh, I love it. I wish I had that idea over here, but I didn't, and it's okay. What else can we talk about? I've gone kind of quiet, <laughs> and this is supposed to be a chat video. So... How about what's coming up next month? So for those of you in the writers community, next month is NaNoWriMo. And I have been participating in NaNoWriMo every year since 2012, I think. The point of NaNoWriMo is to complete a novel in, in 30 days. I will be, technically you're supposed to start with a brand new story, but I will be working on the chopping block. I've already started on it, but that won't count towards my NaNoWriMo word count goal. And the default word count goal is 50,000 words in 30 days. And I'm not sure how I'm going to share the NaNoWriMo process yet, but I definitely do want to do some stuff on it. What am I doing? Yeah, no, this, that is what I wanted to do. I wanted to color this in. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the back. I might just do one big bossy on the back, like a big bossy head, and then fill the rest in with stars. It's just now that it's raining, it's officially raining and thundering. And now that that is a thing, it is much harder to see in here. And I can't see the black on black lines very well. There's the thunder. There, I think we're getting places. I'm really enjoying how this is turning out so far. I just really hope that after I put in all this work, the gouache is gonna stay. <laughs> So, did I ever finish talking about NaNoWriMo? I don't remember. Um, I will be on Twitter a lot more often. And if any of you use this Twitter, you can feel free to follow me over there if you'd like to. I believe it's under Runeja Walker, but I'll change it so that it's Run Run Muffin, so it's consistent with everything else. In case you'd like to follow me on there and see my updates on NaNoWriMo over there as well. I kind of want to start using Twitter more often. I just don't have a reason to do so. And maybe that will be our solution to finding a way to keep in touch with the new changes that's happening with YouTube, you know, for like a fallback, worst case scenario kind of thing. Where for those of you who have Instagram can follow me on Instagram, and for those of you who feel more comfortable with Twitter can use Twitter. And then if there's any other social media that you feel more comfortable with than instead of the ones that I've just mentioned, then I'll take a look into them and see what it takes to create an account with them. And I'll try to be active over there as well. What are the social medias out there, you guys? I don't even know. Okay, so this side is complete. And I'm gonna flip it over once everything's dry, or maybe I'll do it now because I'm impatient. And I will sketch out what I want to do on this side. I'm gonna have to find a way to consume all of this. That way I can paint over it. I'm going to do my icon, I think. And I'm gonna have the floof come around this way. That way I can try to consume as much of that as possible. Okay. So there's that. Let's add some stars. I should have done this side first. <laughs> Maybe I could do it upside down. It won't look any different. Okay. All the stars are down. 
I don't think that white is dry at all. Let's check up on the other side. Other side looks good. Um, that white is most definitely not dry, but I don't care. All right. So now I'm going to try to do all the white outlines and then I'll come back for the, the pink. Okay. I think that's the best I can do. <laughs> it's raining really really bad and it's time to like call it quits and everything i just laid that down and it messed it all up what have i done okay once this has a proper and appropriate time to dry i will go back and fix the back and the sides i thought i would put like wind chimes on the sides and uh, to like tie it all in and i don't know what happened here so i'll have to fix that too well anyway so that's what we've created for um this pencil case. <laughs> I have no idea if any of this is going to last or how long it will last. I will try to invest in like some sort of a sealer to put on top of it. Although this has worked pretty well without a sealer. So we'll see. Then again, it's, it wasn't painted in gouache. So we'll see how it goes. So there's that. The thunder is getting really bad. <laughs> so it's time that I have to go. <laughs> okay. I don't want to set this down because it's wet. So Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> it means so much to me to have you all here with me, and I can't believe we've reached this milestone. It is inc absolutely incredible. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me, and I can just, all all the love that I get from you guys, both here on YouTube, over on Instagram, in my emails, and just everywhere, has been so overwhelmingly good. And I can't thank you enough for your positivity and for just bringing a smile to me, enlightening my day, because <laughs> that's what you guys do for me. You make everything worth it. You make everything so, so worth it. With that, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's um, attempt at an art project, I guess. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and let me know about all the things that we talked about today and stuff that I mentioned. Let me know about Twitch, about a community outside of YouTube, and your opinions on all of that. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like the video if you did. It helps us get, helps me get noticed and helps us build our community even further. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already because that also helps. <laughs> and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Did you believe me when I said it was raining?